Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we will look at 20 of the most difficult words for English learners to pronounce. And I'll also teach you how to say them correctly. For each word, listen to how I say it, then practice saying it after me. So if you're ready, let's jump into it. The first word is this one. How do you say it? Well, the correct pronunciation is question. The first syllable is made with a k combined with a w sound by rounding your lips. Ques. The second syllable is chin, like your chin. So this word is question. Of course, the opposite of question is answer. An, sir, answer. This is in American English. In British English, it's pronounced answer with an ah sound at the beginning. Answer. Number two is didn't. I often hear two mispronunciations of this word from my students. If you say didn't or didn't, they're both wrong. To say this word correctly, say did first. Did. Then add a n sound at the end didn't. Using your nose, didn't. And that's it. Now you can say didn't with a t at the end, but when we speak in full sentences, we often leave out that t sound. For example, didn't like. I didn't like the movie. Notice that the t has become silent. Didn't speak. She didn't speak English. The next word is asked. This is the past tense of ask. The trick to saying it correctly is to make the K silent. So it sounds like asked in American English and asked in British English, but in both we don't pronounce the K. He asked me a question. I asked her for money. Number four is these two words. How do you say them? The first is woman. Wu, man, woman. And the second is we, men, women. Woman, women. One woman, three women. Next up is the second month of the year. The reason this word is tricky to pronounce is that people say it in a few different ways. In British English, it's commonly pronounced February. I know it sounds difficult, but it's not. To say it correctly, you have to say ru, a, ri. Ru, a, ri, ru, ri. February. February. The American version is much easier. The first R is silent, so February. Feb, ya, where, re, February. A quick note in the pronunciation symbols on the screen, you see the letter J, but in the international pronunciation alphabet or IPA, which I'm using here, the J represents a Y sound. Okay, it's up to you to decide whether you want to use British or American pronunciation. But again, American is February and British February. Number six is this word. How do you say it? The correct pronunciation is psychiatrist. It starts with psi, the P is silent, the part in the middle is kaya, kaya, and the word ends with trist. The stress is on the second syllable, so this word is psychiatrist, psychiatrist. Next, we have another scientific word, laboratory. 
That's the American pronunciation. Lab, r, to, ri, with the stress on the first syllable, laboratory. The British version sounds quite different. Laboratory. Here, the second syllable is stressed, ba. So the word begins with a short la. Then we have ba, ra, tri. So laboratory. Once again, American laboratory. British laboratory. Number eight is the set of these four words. These are difficult for many English learners because each one is slightly different. The first is easy. There are three syllables, fo, to, graph. The stress is on the first syllable, fo, so photograph. The next two words are photographer and photography. In these words, the stress is on the second syllable. It becomes a long ta, and the other vowels become short. So, photographer, photographer. And similarly, photography. The last word is photographic. So, where is the stress? The stress is on the third syllable, gra. Photographic. One last time. Photograph. Photographer. Photography. Photographic. Number nine is another set of related words.